Unlike in the movies, you should not attempt to suck venom from a snake bite or apply a tourniquet. How do it? Why? Oh, there being no sucking. Instead, move the victim out of harm's way, have them lie down with the wound below their heart, and transport them to the nearest medical facility. Also, if you get bitten by a wild mammal, you should get the rabies vaccine immediately, as it is one of the most lethal diseases on the planet. If you break a bone, follow these steps, call for help, attempts to stop any bleeding, and immobilize the injured area. Your car thermometer is not 100% accurate. Most cars are equipped with a thermistor behind the grill, which is exposed to heat radiating from the roadway. So even if your thermometer doesn't read below freezing, there could still be black ice on the road. Be aware of road conditions and give your thermometer a few degrees buffer, and it could save your life. Blue lights steal your sleep time, disrupting the brain secretion of melatonin. So before you go to bed, place that phone in another room. Keeping your phone face down will save battery, which could become important in an emergency. This will keep it from lighting up when it receives notifications. Don't eat snow for hydration. Since it takes so much energy for your body to melt the ice, you'll end up further dehydrated than what you gain, plus lose essential body heat while you're at it. You can start a fire with a 9-volt battery and steel wool. If you rub the battery against the steel wool, it should begin to spark. Place it beneath kindling and you'll have an emergency campfire. Be sure to have water nearby if you need to extinguish it. An overloaded keyring could damage your car's ignition mechanism. All the weight can wear out sensitive internal components, making it so your car won't be able to start. My Atalana keys. Bigger the keychain, more powerful the man. Laughter is proven to improve blood flow, immune response, blood sugar levels, and relaxation. So watching some funny internet clips could actually be helping your health. If you ever get stuck in a rip current, don't panic and try to swim directly back to the shore. Instead, swim across the current, parallel to the shore, until you're out of the rip. Speaking of which, if you...